This chart shows living wage jobs in Rochester per 1,000 working age adults over a five year period. So find the rate of change between these two years. So this is the one where we're picking between those two specific points. Otherwise, we would have to make a scatter plot of this problem. All right, let's look at this one specifically. We're looking at 97 and 99, so I can just kind of erase these other ones just so it doesn't get confusing on them. Uh, and then take a closer look at these. So to find the slope, first we need to understand, oh, by the way, the rate of change is slope. Um, we got to determine which of these is independent and which is dependent, all right? And on this one, clearly the jobs, well, hopefully clearly, the jobs depend on the year. So the jobs are the Ys, and the years are the Xs. So we could write these as ordered pairs if we wanted to, and then use rainbow method, or you could use the equation. Either one will work. Yes, it is. It does. Let me take that back. Thank you. So jobs are the Y, yes. That is very good. See, that would have been horrible if I had finished that. 1999 and 770. Fair enough. Change in the X's. This one would have to add 95. So in our fraction, that's our numerator. 95. And the change in the X's is, that's not a very good rainbow, but we added two, two years. So overall, and this is jobs per year. So this one also will be jobs per year. So what is that, 47.5 jobs for every one year. And that's how, I mean, that's one way to write it. If you want to write the words, you could as well. You could write it like that as well. I, I want to say that on the computer, yeah, they just want you to fill in the blank there. So they've already said that it's jobs per year on that. But if 